Hi everybody, this is Matt. Thanks for watching and welcome back. Well, in one of my previous videos, I shared a story with an instructor friend of mine and how we tried to diagnose a flinch that I had. And it was one of those little mystery flinches that would occur. And if you remember, I told you that what was happening was there was a contraction here in my pinky finger and you could see a flex right there. Well, as I stated before, since my carry gun tends to be a Glock 26, the pinky is underneath here and it's a non-issue. So, went back to the range and tried a slightly different technique and it worked, it fixed it. What was that technique that I'm going to share with you? It's called a death grip. I consciously put as tight of a grip on this thing as possible. I mean, I made sure that every single muscle was contracted. And so when I went out and I drove out the gun like this, I had one heck of a grip on it come up and then bang. So just complete utter death grip. That basically took care of the issue. Only had one flyer. Let me show you the results. Targets out at 10 yards and hopefully you can see this. 15 rounds. Here is the flyer. The rest of them just right there. So you have 14 rounds concentrated right there at 10 yards. I think that pretty much uh, takes care of the flinching. And also the other night I went out and I put five rounds right here using again the same technique. So I've incorporated that into my dry fire practice as well just to kind of you know re-educate my muscles a little bit as well as uh, you know the neurosynaptic pipeline. So when I come out I've got this this very very hard grip drive out wherever the finger lands it lands on that trigger and then I squeeze no flinch no contractions you just see a very hard grip and that solved it. So happy about that and we're just going to continue to work on it to re-educate this hand as to what it should be doing. Now the weird thing is, you know I'm a lefty but I can also shoot right-handed. It didn't manifest with the right hand. Go figure. That's the way it is and that's the report from now. So how can you help to fix your grip and eliminate a flinch. It isn't just snap caps, it's dry fire, it's having somebody watching you or you videotaping yourself to see what's happening if you happen to break your wrists or anything like that and change up your technique. But also remember to get your grip stronger. Use grippers and then also use like rubber bands to get strength in here too. Balance, that's what it's all about. So anyway, there you have it. And thanks for watching once again. Till next time, everybody have a good one and be safe out there.